It's a nice fucking day, boys. It's good to be doing these fucking podcasts here at home. So that fucking it's place. a fucking nice day here in Sunnyvale. <clears throat> Very nice. What is this stuff? It's just a little Afghani. It's fucking nice. Yeah, it is nice. All right, we ready to do this or what? Where did you get this fucking thing now? It's from the merch store. There's That's got me on it. Yeah, we're selling merch with us on it. That's what merch is, bubs. Yeah, but usually you get paid, but don't usually you? you get paid, don't you? Can we just start the fucking podcast? Well, I fucking drew this picture. Now it's on a fucking coffee mug. Full it's of a vodka. Fuck picture. <laughs> People will buy that shit. All right, this is the official Trailer Prep Boys podcast coming at you. I don't know what fucking <clears> episode <throat> this is. 87. It's, no, no wait, it's in the wait. 40s, isn't it? 48? 43 or 44. It doesn't matter. It's 43 or 44. It's one of them. We're here. In, in Sunnyvale. fucking Sunnyvale. Yes, sir. Right in front of my shed. Right where I like to be. My favorite spot. Did you get that leak fixed or what? Did you do a bit of roofing? Yes, I got the fucking leak fixed. New shingles, man. Your mama needs new shingles. <laughs> Mommy got shingles. <laughs> That's not very nice, man. <laughs> All right, so what do you guys want to talk about today? We could talk about what a dick you are. Yeah. All right. You warm? If you want to. Well, no, I actually feel nice and comfortable right now. All right. Where'd you get the ladies' bracelet? I bought it. <laughs> Making a bit of cash. It's not a ladies' bracelet. That's gold, man. That is a ladies' bracelet. That's 14 bracelet. fucking carat gold right there. And so yeah. is this. 14 karat gold formed into a ladies' bracelet. Yeah, you could have a nice man's watch like this, but... A man's watch. Where, yeah. you, where the fuck did you get that? The dollar store. That's what I bought with some of the money we've been making, buddy. Ricky, just... where did you get it? You didn't buy that. Those are fucking almost diamonds there. See, that that's the that that's what makes it greasy, man. It's almost diamonds. People know you don't have money, so you're just wearing around a fucking one dollar watch. Look at the way it just sparkles everywhere. See, it's bouncing off all that trailer over there. It's not That's bouncing not off that. the tree. What the Could fuck be. are you talking you about? You don't have a fucking laser beam watch, Ricky. Laser diamonds. Those aren't laser diamonds. Laser diamonds and laser nipples. It's cubic zirconians, man. Fucking crazy. Sh- worth shit. Frame. Does it even work? What are laser nipples? Just nipples that like to come up and poke out and say hi. Cut glass with them. Is that what yours do? Your nipples come up and poke out and say hi? Sometimes when it's cold or fabric runs on, run, rub, rub, rubs on them a certain way or... Rub, rub, rubs on them? Maybe a lady's, <clears throat> lady might be licking them. <clears throat> Laser. <laughs> Laser. Who's licking them? Just different ladies. Different ladies. Actually, it happened one time I was sleeping in the shipping and one of your cats was licking them. <clears throat> Laser nipples. Yeah, that was... All right, can we get into some... Grumpy Jones. He some, loves nipples. Can we get into some cool shit, like some stuff to talk about other than na- laser nipples and shitty watches? Well, he's talking about Grumpy Jones getting at his nipples. Did Was he getting right on them? He's got no teeth anymore. Hmm? He's got no teeth anymore, so he likes to, you know, chew on things. What the fuck happens to a cat's teeth? Well, they get old, Ricky. Their teeth fall out just like a regular person. Was he eating rocks, or...? No, he was just, he was 21 years old, Ricky. His teeth are bound to... But cat's teeth aren't like our <clears> teeth, because we don't... I mean, cats don't, you don't see them with toothbrushes, right? No, so they, they must don't... must be made out of something better than ours. Well, that's a whole different topic, Ricky. Where's the, where's our food? I thought we were going to have burgers and fucking all There's kinds of... There's a box of... of burgers in my shed. They just dropped them off. Before you got here, there was some, there was a lot more food than this. There's a box of brand new burgers sitting in my shed. They no. just dropped them off. No, there's not. Just... You, you go grab me? them. No, go grab them. They're right there. You go grab them. Sakes, fucking starving. For those of you who oh, can't me. see what's happening right now, Julian has got up and walked to my shed. Not realizing that we ate all the burgers before he got no, here. No, we didn't. There's a whole box of them right there. <laughs> Holy fuck, boys. We got a shit ton of food here. Oh, that's another box. I didn't see that. Burger cock sucker. We got fries. How many fucking fries do you think, do you think we're going to eat, man? There's like I didn't fucking there. order them. I didn't order them. Pretty fucking hey, You want stuff. a burger? I already had six, but I guess I can try. I don't know. Burger, man. What the fuck is this? It's a burger. Ah, oh, chicken. Wait a second. Did you do some kind of a greasy deal with them? Why are you promoting them? I haven't had any chicken I'm today. I'm not promoting them. I said burger cocksucker. I'm not 
people can figure out what burger cocksucker means. This is my third fucking food group of the day. What's that? I already had hamburger. This is chicken. <clears throat> Just have some fish. What's the other one? Hamburger, chicken, fish, and fuck. It'll come to me. What do you think those are, Ricky? The food groups? Yeah, man. You're supposed to have some of each of them every day. Hamburger? Well, just meat burger. Or meat. Meat. Chicken. Meat, chicken, fish, and tofu. What's that? That spongy stuff. You don't eat sponges, pups. Tastes like shit. Anyway, it's definitely not a fucking food group. Shrimp, Ricky. Shrimp's another food group. No, shrimp's a fish. It's not a fish. It's a crustacean. That's what it is. The That's the other food group? I think so. Seafood. No, because fish is a seafood. Mm, I don't know. It's going to come to me, though, guys. <clears throat> My God, reptile. Bro. We're nope. just flying here, boys. We're just flying. It could be reptile. Reptile? How many reptiles have you eaten, Ricky? None, but I hear that alligators are pretty tasty. Check this out, boys. I was reading up on this dude. Yeah, I know, Ricky, you've always been saying that, you know. You're reading up on a nude dude? No. Oh. I didn't say... There's this dude over in India, okay? You've been always saying that you you wanted to go up to fucking Toronto and become a street person. Yes. Make money. Uh-huh. There's a guy in India. Nice. Who got in an accident. He got all fucked up. This guy, I mean, this guy was going to go become an engineer, right? But he mm -hmm. got fucked up. So then he started begging. So Where now, what happened to my beer? Oh. this motherfucker, he's got like 7,500 bucks in four bank accounts and he's got $185,000 in property. Holy shit. And he's loaning money out and he's still fucking <clears> begging. it. <throat> I fucking knew it. It's brilliant, man. Well, I should do it. Next thing you know, I'll own half the fucking park and sports cars, horses, start running some fucking high end hookers. The thing is, you'd have to move to India. Oh, you can't. Well, Toronto. Is that what you would buy, Ricky, if you became rich? Sports cars and horses? And hookers? They're worth the most money. Then if you ever fucking get broke, sell them. <clears throat> or you run out your ladies. That, that goes for anything, Ricky. It doesn't need to be a sports car or a horse. Sports car is one of the worst things you can invest in. No. Fuck, that's Bogus. cool. That guy's got some fucking nice stereo equipment. Boats are the worst thing you can invest in, man. Unless you're using them to make a living. You know what I mean? Running drugs, you mean? Well, yeah. There's lots of ways you can make money out there, man. Go fast, boat. I've heard of those. A man... Oh, God, here we go. ...was filmed pleasuring himself in an aubergine on public transport. I knew as soon as you said man, it was going to go to fucking something to do with his cock. No, it's got ass. nothing to do with his cock. Pubs, every time you say something, it has something to do with a cock. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does, man. So oh, I think I'll tell the people just to wind it back so there. You said the... pleasuring himself. How does that not involve his car? Can you just can you rub your nipples fast enough that you can laser achieve nipples, it? Man. Or no? Like you would have. I to was touch handed it. this. I didn't even. I don't know what this is. I've heard there's different ways you can do it if you like pleasuring sometimes. himself with an aubergine. What the fuck is an aubergine? It's a city in uh, England, I think, isn't it? Well, Ricky, he wouldn't be. Pleasuring himself with a city. Oh my Jesus, it's an eggplant and he's got it rammed right in his arse. What? It's an eggplant. So that's, is that true though? You can uh, have an orgasm just by something going in there Ricky, for a minute? I don't know. We're not talking about like an that. eggplant. You said he pleasured himself and if it's in his anus, then there might be something to that. Well, he could be diddling himself as he's doing that. Boys, I, all I did was bring up the topic. Yeah, a guy pleasured himself. Are, no, yeah. you brought it up, then instantly it goes to Cox. Now then, you guys are getting into details about... You just, just said, said he rammed a, a fucking rammed egg. A fucking eggplant yeah. in his ass. That's pretty fucking picturesque it's, detail. It's always people ramming things in their asses with you, bubs. How many times have you done stories about... None. Bullshit. None. Well, probably... Rewind the tape then, everybody. From other podcasts. All right, so... You just shut up and eat your fucking burger. Nice. You go fuck yourself. Hey, guys, settle down now. Why don't you go fuck yourself with an aubergine? 
Oh, yes. <laughs> probably like the the person on the video was identified to be Julian from the Sunnyvale Trailer Park. Bubbles was right there watching it. He's diddling himself. <laughs> no. Nope. Pleasuring himself in other ways. No. Nope. Don't talk with your mouth full of cock. <laughs> Drunk man strips naked in the supermarket and poops on self-service checkout Here we counter. go again. Okay, no, that's not sexual, I guess. Well, it's about this guy, cheating. This guy took, a, <clears throat> took a poop at the... Uh... So this is a naked man again. Yeah. There's a fucking theme here. Well, they just, they hand me these. You think I'd go on the fucking internet? Well, maybe you should check out your fucking search history. What I you checked do? your search history. The first one was ass grease. No. Nope. What was that about, Ricky? No idea what you're talking about. You searched ass grease. Nope. I actually gave the laptop to Julian last night. See, he has right now. Why do you have, why are you searching ass grease? I'm not searching ass grease. And you were talking about it being sore. You're looking for something to put on I it. Like I wasn't a, talking about my ass being sore. Like a, you were. I remember. A, no, a, I wasn't. Some kind of a bomb? You were putting Tiger Bomb or something on there. Yeah. Tiger Bomb. Did you read this one, Ricky? Canuck the Crow flies off with knife <clears> from <throat> crime scene in Vancouver. Yeah. Look at him. I think we talked about him, didn't we? Did we? I don't know. That's a, It's a fucking brilliant guy. He's... He fucking gets a baby pet crow, trains it its whole fucking life to pick up knives as, you know, he maybe he has a dummy, he goes over and stabs it, throws the knife, and then he fucking trains the crow to come in, grab it, pick it up, no evidence. Now that's a premeditated murder right there. That's like a, that's the best. Smart. That's just, I don't believe it. It's, I don't think the guy trained. That is a fucking terrible idea. Well, you don't want to kill anybody. The whole anybody. future. Depends on a crawl and whether you trained him well enough. I'd like to steal that crow and fucking have him for my own, though. And get him to, instead of knives, picking up knives, like picking up my, my dope. Cop pulls you over, he fucking takes the dope out of your pocket, puts it on the hood of the car. Fucking crow, you, McJones swoops down, grabs it. No evidence. I wonder how much a fucking crow like that would cost. I don't you think you can even buy them, man. I think you just gotta go capture them. Huh? You couldn't just buy a crawl, oh, man. Pet store, Ricky. You have a hi there. Do you have a crow that could swoop down and take my drugs when the police have me? You could probably find a place that would import one for you, though, from one of the crow or crow or countries where it's not illegal to to buy a crow. A crow or country, Ricky man. They're all over fucking North America. And Croatia. All over the place. Grower of crows. They don't grow crows, man. Croatia. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one, Ricky. <laughs> Crow uh, ate you. Get it? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> get it? I just don't find it funny, man. I do. And Crow I'm ate big you. right now. <laughs> Crow ate you. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice one, Ricky. Thanks, Bubs. Crow ate you. <laughs> okay. Anything with not unnude men? No. Either. So the guy shit on a fucking. Uh, I don't know, Ricky. I'm just not even talk about that one. All right, I found this guy who has a, a rare genetic condition. He's 53. He can run for 350 miles straight without stopping. Bullshit. I swear to fuck, man. Car can't do that. 350 miles. He just he can go, and the only reason why he stopped is because he was falling asleep as he was running, and he kept going. <laughs> it was like on autopilot. No, you read that in the inquiry. No, man. No, no, no. This it's this dude right here. How is that? A car can't do that. If a car can't do what a man can't do, what he's going to need a, a car's a machine. A, a car can what fucking... What do you mean a car can't go 350 miles? Not without fucking fuel. Body's the same way. Doesn't, it, I mean, you don't eat gas, but you eat stuff that turns into gas. That's why you fart. <laughs> Ricky. And in this condition, he, he doesn't build up like lactic acid, so his muscles don't get sore. They just keep fucking going. It's pretty weird. That would be good. But does he eat while he's jogging? He must need to put something into his body, no? Well, See, I just want to back up here a second now. What? You know the gas that goes in a car is different than gas you get from eating, right? Yeah, no, I know, because you eat food. Like, if I eat this, it takes anywhere from a few hours to maybe 20 hours, and that's going to be turned into... Well, what's in here, but also gas. That but you know burn. that's not the gas that goes in a car, right? I don't know. It's got, it burns. It lights on fire. The same as the gas you would put in a car lights on fire. It's a... Well, it's different because liquid gas goes in a car. This is gas gas that comes out of you because it it's not liquid. 
Oh, you light it, and it, it does light on fire. Okay, this is yes or no. Yes or no answer here, Ricky. Do you no. have fucking chicken oh. burgers or cheeseburgers or any kind of food in your gas tank right now? Yes or no? By gas tank, do you mean my stomach? No, the, your vehicle. No, no, my car would not fucking be able to eat a chicken sandwich. <laughs> it doesn't have things that will break it down and turn it into fucking gas like I do. My car eats fucking liquid gas. <laughs> it eats it. I wish you could fart into your tank and fill it up. It'd be a lot cheaper, but... Have you tried that? No, but now that I think about it, I am going to fucking try it. I could be on to something there. You're not, Ricky. You'd need a car that burns methane, for fuck's sake. You'd need a cap that was self-sealing so that when the gas went in, it immediately sealed and wouldn't come back out. Like a propane tank that way. It may not work on the car, but I bet it would work for a fucking propane barbecue. It'd take you a fucking few weeks to get enough pressure built up. <laughs> so fucked. So Ricky, if you were able to do that, <clears throat> would you cook burgers on fart gas? I never thought of that. Would it change the flavor or the? Smell? I would think so. That would be yeah. I never thought. But if you put a metal plate on top of the burner, like a metal sheet, so that the fart smell wouldn't come up, but the heat still came up, maybe it might work. I'm gonna come up with something. You watch. Okay, I, let's... I'm going to eat beans and broccoli and water for three weeks. Let's put a pin in that, and Ricky's going to, we'll check in in a few weeks and see how you're doing with your broccoli, bean, water diet. Fuck, I love crunchy chips. Wow, man. There's a guy that tied up his camel out in the desert, right, and just left him out there all day? He tied up a candle? <clears throat> a camel. He got back, untied the fucking rope. The camel bit his head off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I probably shouldn't be laughing at that. No, he deserved it, I man. wasn't expecting that. <laughs> he bit his head off, and then he just like, started taking big chunks out of his body. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good for the camel, I guess. But Oh, and then the villagers, there's 25, and they struggled for six hours to get the fucking thing under control. <laughs> So they didn't even, why didn't they just kill it, I guess? I don't know, man. Eye why for, would they? An eye for a guy. What? Eye for a guy. <laughs> Fucking killed him. Eye for a guy, that's not the same, Ricky. Guy for a guy, is it? Eye for an eye. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a camel in America that fucking, uh, he started biting and kicking a man. And then fucking sat on him, smothered him to death. <laughs> it's fucking That's hard. Fuck. That must, the camel must have had a big fucking mouth. Oh, man. You don't want to fuck with a camel. Head. Camels have huge mouths, Ricky. They can eat whole coconuts. I didn't think they had teeth, though. They don't eat whole coconuts. Bob, are camels, you fucking kidding me? Camels can eat whole coconuts. I they eat a, them like M&M's. I thought a camel was a toothless animal. Just all gums. No, Ricky. That's why they say teeth like a camel. Do they? Yeah. Teeth like a camel. I'll have to remember that one. Was she good looking? Yeah, she was. But she had teeth like a camel. You've she never had, heard that before? She had an awfully nice camel. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. Oh, well, maybe that's what it is. It's not a... It totally is. Camel man. hoof. What um, does that mean, anyway? I never understood that. She's got a nice camel. It's like a, it's like moose knuckles. Did you ever hear that one? You mean the... It's like that, yeah. The danglers? The danglers. Beef curtains. Is that what they're called? <laughs> they could be called that. Beef curtains. I don't know. I thought I heard that at one point, but... <laughs> camel toes. Well, fucking violent camels. Who would have thought? Little fuckers. Next time one spits on me before I punch in the head, which I did last time, I'm going to think twice about it. Little cocksucker. Go when to the fucking zoo. When did you punch zoo. a camel? Oh, it was fucking 10 or 15 years ago now. I was down going to the zoo and... Trinity was younger then, taking her, and this little cock-sucking camel spits on me. So I fucking jumped the fence and just started wailing on it. But if I'd known about them eating people's heads off and shit, I would have thought three times about it. Ricky, that <clears throat> wasn't a camel. That was, was a donkey. Was it? Yeah, that was a teenage say, donkey. It, yeah, it didn't have humps, but... You beat the piss out of that donkey. Well, does donkey bite heads off, so... I was safe. He kicked the living shit out of you, I bet, though. 
Ja, sei mal das noch zum Mio. Mio. Mio? Hm. Ja, das ist ein Mio. Okay. What's the difference between a donkey and a mule? Number of legs. No. One shit. looks like your mother and the other one looks like his mother. <laughs> Number of legs? <laughs> yeah, no, that's a different thing altogether. <laughs> a donkey is made from a horse and a cow? <laughs> a horse and a cow, man. Uh, yeah. No. A mule, them. okay, no, it's a mule is between a, a donkey fucks a foal? A what? A baby horse. And it turns into a donkey. Or a mule. Fuck, boys, I don't remember. Just tell me what it is. I've learned You said it a donkey's made from a horse and a cow. Right. And then that donkey fucked a baby horse. It makes a mule. Yeah, you got it, Ricky. That's exactly right. Perfect. People fucking say I'm not smart. They fuck themselves. <sighs> got anything else for me? I don't know, man. It's hard to fucking see this screen. I can't even fucking believe that my picture's on this, and I'm not seeing one fucking cent. It's a terrible picture. You're going to get some money eventually. I'm still working it out. Okay. <clears throat> I do love that Cyrus is riding a big giant cock horse. The Republic of Moldova. They've got the highest liquor consumption out of any place in the entire fucking world. I want to go there. That tennis player was from there, wasn't she? Which Mar one? Martina Malatova with the nice breastage. What? Martina Navatrilova? Is that her name? I don't know. Maybe. It's not Maltova, man. Okay, sorry. The Prince of Maltova, what? What did... I don't even know what you said. All I heard was Maltova. You Maltova baked out of your goddamn mind. Oh, shit. Yes. I just don't... I don't even want to look... I don't want to just read... Just tell me one more time. I'm ready. I'm going to eat my chicken and I'm going to listen. I'm, I'm done, man. I'm totally done. I don't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> I thought you said something about the Prince of Maltova. No, I said there's a place called the Republic of Maltova. Oh, wow. So that's all we learned is a no, fucking place in the, the world called... they drink the most booze out of anybody in the world. Bull in this small fucking, fucking place. Shit. They, well, yeah, they're saying it's like 14 liters a year. That's not a lot. 14 liters a year? A straight alcohol. We drink, fuck, 14 liters. Jesus that's it, man. Murphy, nothing. On average. Nine. On average. Big year. Yeah. Fuck. It's well, in Canada, they say... a couple liters a week for me. They say it's like 13 or something. 13 or 14 liters. <laughs> a year? Yeah. That can't be right. No, 10. I'd like them to find do it just for, down just for Nova Scotia. Liters in a month. Just do Nova Scotia. I bet it would be, yeah, at least 14 liters a month. Oh, I was way more than that. I mean, is that hard liquor or is that beer? If it's that's, beer, that's it'd be pure fucking liquor. 800 liters a year. I don't fucking know, man. I don't want to. This seems, this, this is too much work right now. Boys, I got to go feed my kitties. <sighs> I got to go feed the geese. Ricky, you don't gotta tell us that, man. Well, boys, you don't just walk away. You gotta say goodbye. Okay, talk about the sponsors at least for me, Bubs. I'm not. You expect me to sit here and talk about? Holy people. fuck! I think I was asking you to do with something difficult. All right, today's podcast was sponsored by this tomato. Yeah, and our merchandise company or the Trailer Park Boy One. It's what is it? Trailer. Slash da dash, dash or dash or dash, dash boys dash dot 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 backstreet merch backstreet merch dot com fucking brilliant name Julian I must I didn't say. come up with the name it just it just flies okay. off your fucking tongue every time Chipper's it? gonna put it up anyway oh what the fuck are you doing here lady oh, Jesus Christ merchandise are you boys nope nothing to see here bud. Nope. Just minding our own business, actually. Hey, there's a little uh, little freebie going on today. A little what? Freebie. Cheers, you owe me, boys. You owe me five moves. bucks. And I'm getting it. I'll deduct it from your live feeds. You're looking real pretty, boys. That's a weird thing to say. All right, now I'm going. Yeah, me too. What's up, dude? Can I go hang out with you? Fuck. 
Corey, are you fucking kidding me? I got shit to do today. Okay. Later, man. Tune in next time when something cool happens. Thank you.